So you've decided you want to create a campaign. Awesome. So now I'm going to guide you through that process and what it takes to create a campaign. But before we begin, I just wanted to tell you, we have a wonderful campaign wizard that will help you get a campaign set up. But before you start to that campaign wizard, you must have something in your saved project you want to use as the first shipment. So that's where you need to start in your saved projects. How do you get something in your saved projects? Well, you can go to the design store and open anything up and it'll open it up uh, and create a saved project. Or you can start a new project of any kind you want from scratch and it will create uh, something in your saved projects. And that's where you need to start. So let's go ahead and just get going on this thing. So here we are, we're in the mailbox power system. And where we're going to go is right here, saved projects right at the top. So we go to save projects and as you can see, well, there's no button here. Where is it? Well, I'm going to create a campaign out of these three items. And as you can see, when I started checking boxes, I had three new buttons show up, including create a campaign right here in the middle. So I'm going to click create a campaign. And it says, are you sure you want to create a campaign from these three projects? And I'm going to say, of course, yes, I do. And here we are in the campaign wizard. Now, I wanted to make you acutely aware of something that Along each step of the process, there are video tutorials that you could click on and click play. This is 45 seconds and it'll teach you about this step and there are video tutorials all along the way. So the first thing we have to do is we have to name this tutorial. So this is going to be a test tutorial uh, from 3, 26, uh, 2021. Perfect. And it had showing me the three items that are going into this campaign. I click next step. Now it gives me the options to choose the campaign type. If you watch this video, it will teach you about all of the campaign types in a basic overview. Now, I'm gonna just choose drip campaign. Of course, you could choose event, birthday, or anniversary, but I'm gonna choose drip campaign and click next. Now, this video is about drip campaigns. If I would have chosen birthday campaign, it would teach me about birthday campaigns. And this is the part of the step where you actually choose when your items are going to send. Now, this is a drip campaign that I'm creating that I want to go out immediately. Now, I could choose seven days or seven or nine weeks. Uh, I could choose pretty much anything I want, including years. What if I wanted to go out a year later or three years later? I could do that as well here in this step. Now, as you can see, I'm going to just go back to immediately and days and call that done. And here I am going on to the next step. Now, here I am in the choose the address group or the address book group that I want to send. Now, uh, folks, this is uh, you'll find a warning in this video here. And the warning is this. If you choose a group that has a lot of people in it or any people in it, like I choose uh, my make a wish. I know there's 12 people in this group and I click next step and I finish this campaign, it will send whatever's in this campaign to all 12 people. So beware that what you don't want to do is select a group that you don't want to send something to. You want to select a group uh, that you can add people to uh, later, uh, or you can create a new address book group. And I'm going to go through that right now. So create a new address book group, and I'm going to name the group test. And this is three uh, 26, 2021. And I like to name the group the exact name that I named the campaign. That way I can associate the two together. Okay, here we go. Next step. Here I am. This is review and create, right? My campaign. And it's telling me the name of the name of the campaign. Campaign type is a drip campaign. It sends out immediately and it's linked to the address book group. Oh, the same one, 326, 2021. That's perfect. And it's showing me the items that are going in the campaign. Now there's one last item that you have here and it is make this campaign live. That means the minute I click create campaign, it is going to build this campaign in the background. It's going to create the group and actually make it live. So anybody I add to this group right here, linked address book group, test 326 2021, will actually get these three items. And that is it, folks. This is how we create a campaign in the mailbox power system. And I must say one other thing. Uh, I want to make sure you're aware that you're creating the first shipment just the first shipment. There is another tutorial on how to create an, or add an additional shipment to your existing campaign. And I'd suggest that you watch that if you're interested in creating a multi-touch campaign or a multi-shipment campaign. Thanks for your time today.